Hello everyone and welcome to Soda Giant, the internet soft drink show served ice cold. I am your host John, the Soda Giant, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Tuesday's episode. Uh, it was a lot of fun to have a special guest on the show and uh, someone that's a good friend of mine, so hope you guys enjoyed that. If you didn't see it, go back and watch Tuesday's episode. Uh, we drank surprise root beer, root beer on a Tuesday, it was crazy, uh, it was clear, uh, and it was a good time, it was fun. So. Uh, Today we have something a little bit different. Uh, I know for a fact that it is not root beer, and I was tempted to do root beer week this week uh, with the, you know, the kind of surprise root beer at the beginning of the week, but I decided against it. So uh, I'm going to do something a little different today. So today's beverage is Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda. It is huckleberry flavored. It is Montana's legendary soda, handcrafted. So they say it is made with high fructose corn syrup, so another another high fructose corn syrup beverage. We just can't get away from it. Um, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda. I got this at Flying J Truck Stop uh, on, a, on a road trip somewhere, somewhere or another. Um, can't remember the price. I think it was $1.29, $1.39, so um, pretty affordable beverage. I think they were on sale two for two bucks. Uh, just picked up the Huckleberry flavor. Um, so, should be readily available if you've got a Flying J truck stop near you. I know they're pretty much all across the country, so it uh, should be pretty easy to find, especially if you live in Montana. So, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda, I've said it like ten times. Huckleberry flavored. I uh, can't say that I've ever had Huckleberry, so I'm not really sure what it tastes like. Um, and I've definitely never had Flathead Lake before, so uh, interesting bottle. Very shiny, very bright, very uh, foily. It's kind of like a foil label on it. Pretty cool bottle top, which you can't really see, of course. So let's crack it open. I'm thirsty. That was a tough one. Tough one to get open. Keeping that bottle cap for the collection. And so it smells really good. It kind of reminds me of, like, grape juice a little bit. It's kind of got that, like, grape smell, but kind of a lighter, nicer, uh, yeah, kind of like a grape, cranberry grape almost is kind of the, the scent that I'm getting. Some in the neighborhood. It smells really good, actually. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Let's have a swig. So, if that's what huckleberry taste, huckleberries taste like, uh, I would like to eat a bunch of them. Um, pretty tasty. It's kind of got a, a grape meets cranberry meets cherry sort of thing going on. Uh, it's a really nice flavor. It's really, um, really friendly uh, to drink. It's kind of one of those drinks that you could almost see yourself slamming like I want another drink again right now. It's just a really nice flavor. Um, I really agree. My mouth agrees with this flavor quite a bit. Um, it's, it's just really nice. Um, not too frothy. Um, not too sweet. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you get, you get uh, when you get into this fruity flavored beverage, you get like really candy tasting sodas, really candy-fied. Uh, this is not that at all. It's just a really nice uh, kind of natural feeling flavor. Um, I would rate this a buy. I would say if you see it, pick it up. Um, it's definitely interesting, it's definitely different, it's a unique flavor, no, so it's not your typical citrus beverage or, you know, cherry or, or something like that. It's it's definitely a little unique, um, so I, I definitely say try it. I think it's pretty good and uh, tasty stuff, and as always, thank you for joining me here on Soda Giant. You can catch me on the internet at sodagiant.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash sodagiant. And, of course, on Facebook, facebook.com slash sodagiant. And on iTunes, where you can subscribe to me and have it delivered right to you every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, sometimes Friday. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow, which is Friday, maybe. <laughs>